Hey guys, it's Jeannie Trobinich from Kara Tutoring, back at it again with the SAT tips despite having massive college stress. You know how it is. I'm going to help you get that 800 on the reading portion of the SAT by helping you ace that science passage that everybody worries about for some freaking reason. They should not be worrying about it. Just I'll show you how to make it easier. On another note, if you're new to this channel, make sure you check out Kara Tutoring because Kara Tutoring is a nonprofit 501c3 globally based organization that provides free tutoring for low income students. So if you want to join, if you want to be a student and see if you qualify, click in the link down below in the description box and it'll take you to the Kara Tutoring page where it'll show you all the guidelines and everything for applications. So let's get started. The overview. So what these science passages want to see if is if you have these abilities they want to see if you can do comprehension and data analysis now data analysis does not mean that you have to be some crazy smart researcher and be like oh this is this means this because i know everything and i read a billion textbooks no that's not what they're talking about they just want to see if you have the ability to link and this is talking about if you can link what you see in the first part of the passage the actual experiment or the research itself the conclusion and the data table or um, graph that they give you at the very end. They want to see if you can take specific parts of this of this data table or graph and link it back to the part in the passage where they actually talk about this part. Or let's say this part is linked back to this part. And then they want to see if you can understand that this experiment be, um, was decided to be done because of a specific idea or discussion or something that is talked about in the introduction. And these two combined with this evidence right here brings them to this conclusion or further um, interest in the specific topic. All right. So the graphs and tables make up about, uh, about make up about two to three questions in the um, science passage questions and they're just talking about so if you had a graph like this what does this point mean on the graph so what how do how are these related like basically they're saying what is this graph saying if it has an upward slope like this and it's talking about x on y then what is the general idea is it saying that with more food dogs are more likely to be jumpy or what is the association linked to the graph you don't have to be a statistics major you don't have to be a st ap stats genius and you don't have to worry too much about being like oh you can't assume things from graphs you there's a correlation does not mean causation just look at the question and just answer it the best that you can don't worry too much about AP stats at this point okay <laughs> um, and uh, basically they just want to see if you can comprehend um, the reason why that these experiments were done and what the experiment is talking about or the research is talking about so why is it harder than other passages if it's just very simple if it's just like in reality it's it's one of the easiest i would say it's like um you don't really have to dig deep into what the author or writer was saying you just have to understand why the researcher or scientist actually decided to do this experiment or research all right you just have to see really clear-cut details and answer questions so one thing that really trips up people are the super long words let's say you have you've never taken biology before and you see the word deoxyribonucleic acid okay that is dna that is our genetic code in our body but some people may not know that so let's say they see the really long word and they're like oh my gosh i don't know what that is i can't answer this question or um i can't understand this passage and so they just kind of give up if you give up you won't answer anything so what i recommend you to do is um look at this super long word see the first two letters and then move on just understand that it exists and it is part of the passage let's say um think about the word like if you see your last name if your last name is really long but you see the and somebody else can't pronounce it but then they see your last name they know it's your last name but they don't attempt to even say it you know what i'm saying like my last name is Chiravinich, but people can't even say it they see the first few letters they see it's long they say it's associated with me and then they know what it's talking about same thing in this passage you need to see the word you need to see, you need to understand, oh, it's that really long word that starts with the two letters D, E. Okay, I know what they're talking about. And then you need to link this to the other parts of the passage that talks about it, all right? Two, annoying numbers. Let's say you have 200, 936,300 nails, okay? 
you just need to under you don't even have to try to read this number you don't have to get tripped up about it just know that there are a lot of nails okay a lot of nails or in the other hand it could be like 0.3000029365 or something like that just say oh there is very little of this specific thing very little of it that's what you that's what they're trying to um, make you understand they're not trying to make you memorize these numbers they just want to make you understand that the data suggests that there was a lot of something or very little of something or in the middle or something like that so that's how we can do that's how we can save our time that's how we can make the passage appear more e easy so that we can approach it in a calmer in a better state of mind so what do we focus on? Abbreviating, all right? Let's say we're given the word, like I said, deoxyribonucleic acid, and you don't know that this is supposed to be DNA, and it doesn't tell you that it's supposed to be DNA. Well, in order to make it easier on yourself, you can just say, oh, it's the D, D long word. Like, this can be your abbreviation, all right? And then just summarize it on the side of the passage, and you can move on. Understanding the scientists and the researchers. So just like how other re uh, other reading passages want you to understand the writer, understand the author, this wants this this passage makes wants you to understand the scientists and researchers the thought process. All right. So how did this hypothesis lead to this experiment, which led to this conclusion? You just have to make sure that you understand the thought process. So let's say in the conclusion it says birds with long beaks, long beaks try to eat very small worms or something like that, right? Okay, circle that part and link it to the part of the passage that actually talks about the experiment that led or the research that led to this specific conclusion. This is how you link passages. Like I said earlier, they wanna see your ability to link, all right? So let's take this part of the conclusion and link it back to the part of the passage that it talks about that, so on and so forth. And then you want to understand why they decided to do this experiment. Why did they Why did they decide to do it? Well, and maybe in the introduction it talks about, oh, um, this specific scientist thought about this idea or they were pondering about this or this seemed to be contradictory, blah, blah, blah. You just need to make sure you emphasize the reason why they actually started this research or experiment. So that's basically what we talk about here. That's basically how you understand this passage. You just need to understand the thought process that these scientists and researchers was going researchers were going through. All right, I'm going to show you how I annotate like one pa one paragraph from this, and then how I understand this um, data table. So you can pause here and you can take your time to read through the passage. Take the um, tips that I gave you earlier and just read through the passage. All right, so now we're back, and then we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you how I annotate one of this. All right. So we can, let's talk about this paragraph since it actually talks about why the researchers just began to research or do this experiment, all right? So it says, the first feature of our structure, which is a biological interest that it consists of not one chain, but two. So they thought it was one chain, but it's actually two. These two chains are both both coiled around a common fiber axis. It has often been assumed that since there were, there was only one chain in the chemical formula, there would be only one in the structural unit. However, the density taken with the x-ray evidence suggests very strongly that there are two Two, all right so it said these scientists were like wait this is actually two coils not only one there's one two all right and then this is what they made them, prompted them to start this research below okay and that's basically it this is the reason why they started it these these um this understanding helps you with the questions that talk about like like why did why was this experiment done all that kind of stuff all right so up to here understanding this table all right read the title what is this title saying base composition of dna so in specific dna what 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 bases make up this dna that's what it's saying so in this column it's saying organism so oh okay we know that these are the different organisms that we're going to see the dnas of so now we have adenine guanine cytosine and thymine and so in the passage we learned that adenine uh pairs up with thymine and guanine and cytosine guanine ties up with uh pairs up with cytosine and this table can prove that which may be a question on the science passage questions later on it proves that adenine can only pair up with thymine and guanine only with cytosine because you can see that the um, percentage of adenine is 33 percentage of thymine is 31 very similar numbers and percentage of guanine is 17 and percentage of size in is 17 again very similar numbers and you can see this trend happen all throughout these numbers and that's basically what 
this table proves. Very simple. It's just proving the thing that is already talked about in the passage, all right? Just understand anything given to you like these graphs and stuff is just going to be proving the things that you see in the passage. So um, try it yourself. See a science passage from a practice SAT test, whether it be from College Board or whatever else. I use personally love College Board's ones because it just really helped me ace my SAT in general. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you'll take the lessons learned and um, I hope it really raises your reading score and check out other videos from Kara Tuting. They're really helpful and I hope you do really well on your SAT.